the file now. Okay, wait for a sec. Okay, we're gonna help you, Lee. Help you, Lee. Do you have your vacation already? Is it gone? How is it? Your vacation is, the summer vacation is coming and you don't have to go to class now? How is it, Nay? Is everything okay? I know you enjoy. Oh, what? Uh, I can, oh, wait, 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 me. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear teacher? I said, it's summer vacation. Yes, very good thinking. It's summer vacation uh, coming in your country. I mean, in your school. So mostly Vietnamese don't have, okay, don't have class at the end of this month. How about you? Okay, so I will share now get 7.3. Okay, so let us have here the listening because we are done with 7.3 reading. I am happy that you come here, you attend the class this morning. Yes, okay. So thank you. Okay, so here in get 7.3. Okay, so we have here me some vocabulary words. Okay, first we have here the word cereal. Okay, so we have here the word cereal. Okay, so look at that. Next, we've got omelette. Okay, this is cereal and this is the omelette. Okay, in the Philippines, we do have cereal and we also have omelette. Okay, another is instruction. Okay, we have instruction. Detailed information on how to do or use something. That is the instruction. Okay, so it is a detailed information on how to do something or instruction. Okay. So another one, we have here the word discount. It's amount of money that is taken off the usual cost of something. It is the amount of money that is taken off aside from the usual, okay, taken off the usual cost of something. Okay, next one. Okay, so here, this is the conversation, okay, the listening conversation. Please try to listen me. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One, what instrument is Edward learning to play? Do you want to come to a piano concert with me this evening, Edward? I'd like to, Aunt Lucy, but I can't. I've got my music lesson. Oh, OK. I hear you're still learning the guitar. It's a pity you stopped learning the piano. It was so hard. I really want to play the drums, but Mum thinks they're too noisy. Now listen again. Do you want to come to a piano concert with me this evening, Edward? I'd like to, Aunt Lucy, but I can't. I've got my music lesson. Oh, OK. I hear you're still learning the guitar. It's a pity you stopped learning the piano. It was so hard. I really want to play the drums, but Mum thinks they're too noisy. 2. What will Anna have for breakfast today? Morning, Anna. What would you like for breakfast? Some cereal and fruit? I have that every day. Can I have an omelette today? <sighs> Sorry, I've just eaten the last egg. Do you want some bread and jam instead? Well, OK, I suppose so. Maybe I can have an omelette tomorrow. 
Now listen again. Morning, Anna. What would you like for breakfast? Some cereal and fruit? I have that every day. Can I have an omelette today? Sorry. I've just eaten the last egg. Do you want some bread and jam instead? Well, OK. I suppose so. Maybe I can have an omelette tomorrow. Three. How much is the watch? How much is this watch? I'm looking for one that's around 20 euros. That one's in the sale. It's 18 euros now. Oh, what was the full price? It was 22 euros until this morning. Now listen again. How much is this watch? I'm looking for one that's around 20 euros. That one's in the sale. It's 18 euros now. Oh, what was the full price? It was 22 euros until this morning. Four. What does Mandy's brother do? Hello, Mandy. I saw your brother at the university yesterday. He was talking to the receptionist. Is he still studying there? He finished studying last year and they asked him to teach some classes. That's interesting. Is he enjoying it? He loves it. Now listen again. Hello, Mandy. I saw your brother at the university yesterday. He was talking to the receptionist. Is he still studying there? He finished studying last year and they asked him to teach some classes. That's interesting. Is he enjoying it? He loves it. Five. Who is coming to stay this weekend? Mum, can my friend Josh come and stay this weekend? There won't be space, I'm sorry. Auntie Susie's coming with her baby and you'll want to spend some time with your new cousin. OK, you're right. What about next weekend? That'll be fine. Grandma's coming, but that's not a problem. Now listen again. Mum, can my friend Josh come and stay this weekend? There won't be space, I'm sorry. Auntie Susie's coming with her baby and you'll want to spend some time with your new cousin. OK, you're right. What about next weekend? That'll be fine. Grandma's coming, but that's not a problem. That is the end of part one. Okay, so I will just wait your answer, Ni. Oh, very fast, very good. Okay, number one, you've got here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so number one. Okay, what instrument is Edward learning to play? Oh, what instrument? Okay, you said it's letter A. It's guitar. Okay, very good. Yes. Two. What will Anna have for breakfast today? Letter C, it's a bread and a sandwich. Okay. Three. Okay. How much is the watch? How much? You said it's letter C, 22. Okay. It's 18, but it's nearly to 22. Just quite near. Four. What does Mandy's brother do? Okay. Let us see. Mandy's brother is letter A. So he is, uh, he is in front of or practicing maybe for a speech in front of many people. And five, who is coming to say to stay this weekend? It is the B. Yeah, it's the mother and a baby. Okay, one. Okay, you've got two correct answering. Thank you. Okay, here for this one. You will listen to conversation between Sally and her father about computer courses. How many free places are there on the computer course each day? Okay, please listen. So we have here the days, Tuesday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now look at part two. Listen to the conversation between Sally and her father about a computer course. How many free places are there on the computer course each day? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. Sally, let's look on the internet and see if there are any free places for you and Emma to do that computer course one day next week. OK, Dad. Here's the information. Let's try Monday. They've got three places then, mm. so that's possible. Tuesday will be better. Emma works on Mondays. Mm. Oh, dear. The course is full mm. that day. What about Wednesday? I'm free then, so I can drive you there. Let's see. It says seven places are taken and there are five left. Good. Let's ask Emma if that's OK. Let me just check the other days first. So, Thursday... Hmm, only one left and you need two places, so that's no good. Are you busy on Friday? Not until seven. Oh, uh, they've only got room for two more students. You must decide quickly or it may be full. Oh, look, there are courses on Saturday too, in smaller groups of six. And there is space for four more people then. I'll see what Emma thinks. Now listen again. Sally, let's look on the internet and see if there are any free places for you and Emma to do that computer course one day next week. OK, Dad. Here's the information. Let's try Monday. They've got three places then, so that's possible. Tuesday will be better. Emma works on Mondays. Oh, dear. The course is full that day. What about Wednesday? I'm free then, so I can drive you there. Let's see. It says seven places are taken and there are five left. Good. Let's ask Emma if that's OK. Let me just check the other days first. So, Thursday... Hmm, only one left and you need two places, so that's no good. Are you busy on Friday? Not until seven. Oh, uh, they've only got room for two more students. You must decide quickly or it may be full. Oh, look, there are courses on Saturday too, in smaller groups of six. And there is space for four more people then. I'll see what Emma thinks. That is the end of part two. Wait your answer. Okay, so you have here six. Okay, you listen to Sally to the conversation between Sally and her father about computer courses. 
how many free places are there on the computer course each day? Okay, so we have letter A, seven letter F, eight letter B, nine letter C, 10 letter B. Okay, so here letter A, Tuesday, Okay, it is said that how many, okay, conversation about Sally and her father about computer courses. How many free places are there on the computer course? On Tuesday, so how many free places? So we've got none. Okay, it's full book, fully book. Wednesday, letter F, it's five. Thursday, there is one. On Friday, letter C, there's two. And Saturday, it's four, okay? I'm uh, sorry, it's one. There's one, uh, let's four, okay? So, Nyi, uh, please try to listen carefully. And if you think you cannot answer, okay, just tell teacher. Teacher, I want to listen again. Okay, okay. great job. Okay, let's move on. Listen to Stefan talking to Jenny about making some soup. Oh, look at Yes, the soup is very delicious. So we will have to listen to question 11 to 15. Now look at part three. Listen to Stephen talking to Jenny about making some soup. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. This soup is amazing, Jenny. Do you use fresh tomatoes to make it? No, Stephen. I just use a can of tomatoes. Some people think roast tomatoes are best, but that's too much hard work for me. Who taught you how to make it? My aunt's friend gave the instructions to my mother, who changed them a bit, then taught me. It's not too thin, is it? That's because I don't use much water. At first, I used four cups, then three, but I think two is best, really. So, what else is in it? Some butter, an onion, the tomatoes, salt and pepper, and to make it really nice, a cup of milk. It's much cheaper than cream, you know. Mmm. How long does it take to make? No longer than 20 minutes. You fry the onion for five minutes, add everything else, then boil for about ten. So, what are we having for the main course? Well, we're having fruitcake for dessert, and for main course, we've got pasta. I wanted to do lemon chicken, but I didn't have time. Lovely. Now listen again. This soup is amazing, Jenny. Do you mm. use fresh tomatoes to make it? No, Stephen. I just use a can of tomatoes. Some people think roast tomatoes are best, but that's too much hard work for me. Who taught you how to make it? My aunt's friend gave the instructions to my mother, who changed them a bit, then taught me. It's not too thin, is it? That's because I don't use much water. At first, I used four cups, then three, but I think two is best, really. So, what else is in it? Some butter, an onion, the tomatoes, salt and pepper, and to make it really nice, a cup of milk. It's much cheaper than cream, you know. Mmm. How long does it take to make? No longer than 20 minutes. You fry the onion for five minutes, add everything else, then boil for about 10. So, what are we having for the main course? Well, we're having fruitcake for dessert, and for main course, we've got pasta. 
I wanted to do lemon chicken, but I didn't have time. Lovely. That is the end of part three. Okay, one more. You want to listen again? Now look at part three. Listen to Stephen talking to Jenny about making some soup. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. This soup is amazing, Jenny. Do you use fresh tomatoes to make it? No, Stephen. I just use a can of tomatoes. Some people think roast tomatoes are best, but that's too much hard work for me. Who taught you how to make it? My aunt's friend gave the instructions to my mother, who changed them a bit, then taught me. It's not too thin, is it? That's because I don't use much water. At first, I used four cups, then three, but I think two is best, really. So, what else is in it? Some butter, an onion, the tomatoes, salt and pepper, and to make it really nice, a cup of milk. It's much cheaper than cream, you know. Mmm. How long does it take to make? No longer than 20 minutes. You fry the onion for five minutes, add everything else, then boil for about ten. So, what are we having for the main course? Well, we're having fruitcake for dessert, and for main course we've got pasta. I wanted to do lemon chicken, but I didn't have time. Lovely. Now listen again. This soup is amazing, Jenny. Do you use fresh tomatoes to make it? No, Stephen. I just use a can of tomatoes. Some people think roast tomatoes are best, but that's too much hard work for me. Who taught you how to make it? My aunt's friend gave the instructions to my mother, who changed them a bit, then taught me. It's not too thin, is it? That's because I don't use much water. At first, I used four cups, then three, but I think two is best, really. So, what else is in it? Some butter, an onion, the tomatoes, salt and pepper, and to make it really nice, a cup of milk. It's much cheaper than cream, you know. Mmm. How long does it take to make? No longer than 20 minutes. You fry the onion for five minutes, add everything else, then boil for about ten. So, what are we having for the main course? Well, we're having fruitcake for dessert, and for main course we've got pasta. I wanted to do lemon chicken, but I didn't have time. Lovely. That is the end of part three. OK. So let us check your answer, if you have. Okay, so we have here number 12. Okay. Jenny was shown how to make a soup by whom? By her mother. And number 12, how has Jenny improved the soup? Because uh, making a soup, it's not that quite super easy because you have to make sure that it really tastes good. And when you try to add water, you have to, you have to, be, uh, you have to be very careful if the water is just too many or it's just too less because you cannot feel 
any more the flavor and the aroma of the soup that you are making. Okay, so how has Jenny improved the soup? Okay, Jenny try to improve. She adds less water. Okay, she adds less water. Okay, so here, very good. And 13, to make it really good, Jenny adds, okay, because if we're trying to make a soup, we have to show to ourselves that it is quite perfect and we're doing it so nice and so taste and the taste is so different. Okay, to make it really good, Jenny adds milk. Wow, a soup with a milk. Okay, very good. 14. How long does the soup take to make? How long? Okay. Actually, it is only 20 minutes. Oh, it's quite long, 20 minutes. Okay, but if you will gonna make it a little bit faster, for me, it's only five minutes. Okay. 15. What will be it next after the soup? What will be it next? They will gonna eat a pasta. They love pasta all the way. Okay, pasta. Okay, next one here. So we have here 16 to 20. You will hear a boy asking for information about a plant. You listen and complete question 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Now look at part four. You will hear a boy asking for information about a plant. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Welcome to your garden centre. How can I help you? I'm looking for a plant for my mum's birthday. What's this one called? Sweet William, some people think its name comes from the writer, William Shakespeare. Mm, that's interesting. What colour will the flowers be on this one? This type is pink, but they can also be red or purple. It'll be very pretty. Good. When will the flowers come? Every spring. Then you need to cut them before the summer, so they return next year. OK. When should I put it outside? Well, it's August now. Wait until September to put it in the garden. How tall will it grow? Some types are only 15 centimetres tall, but in two or three years, this one will be 40 centimetres tall. Leave space for it. Oh, I'd like to buy it. How much is it? The normal price is £10, but it's only £8 this weekend because we have a special discount. Great. Now listen again. Welcome to your garden centre. How can I help you? I'm looking for a plant for my mum's birthday. What's this one called? Sweet William, some people think its name comes from the writer, William Shakespeare. Mm, that's interesting. What colour will the flowers be on this one? This type is pink, but they can also be red or purple. It'll be very pretty. Good. When will the flowers come? Every spring. Then you need to cut them before the summer, so they return next year. OK. When should I put it outside? Well, it's August now. Wait until September to put it in the garden. How tall will it grow? Some types are only 15 centimetres tall, but in two or three years, this one will be 40 centimetres tall. Leave space for it. Oh, I'd like to buy it. How much is it? The normal price is £10, but it's only £8 this weekend because we have a special discount. Great! 
that is the end of part four. Okay, so you want to listen again? Oh, you've got your answer already. Okay, let us check again, please. Okay. Now look at part four. You will hear a boy asking for information about a plant. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Welcome to York Garden Centre. How can I help you? I'm looking for a plant for my mum's birthday. What's this one called? Sweet William. Some people think its name comes from the writer, William Shakespeare. Mm, that's interesting. What colour will the flowers be on this one? This type is pink, but they can also be red or purple. It'll be very pretty. Good. When will the flowers come? Every spring. Then you need to cut them before the summer, so they return next year. OK. When should I put it outside? Well, it's August now. Wait until September to put it in the garden. How tall will it grow? Some types are only 15 centimetres tall, but in two or three years, this one will be 40 centimetres tall. Leave space for it. Oh, I'd like to buy it. How much is it? The normal price is £10, but it's only £8 this weekend because we have a special discount. Great! Now listen again. Welcome to York Garden Centre. How can I help you? I'm looking for a plant for my mum's birthday. What's this one called? Sweet William, some people think its name comes from the writer, William Shakespeare. Mm, that's interesting. What colour will the flowers be on this one? This type is pink, but they can also be red or purple. It'll be very pretty. Good. When will the flowers come? Every spring. Then you need to cut them before the summer, so they return next year. OK. When should I put it outside? Well, it's August now. Wait until September to put it in the garden. How tall will it grow? Some types are only 15 centimetres tall, but in two or three years, this one will be 40 centimetres tall. Leave space for it. Oh, I'd like to buy it. How much is it? The normal price is £10, but it's only £8 this weekend because we have a special discount. Great. OK. That is the... OK, so we have here. So plan for mom. What is the plan for mom? Color of the flowers. Is the it end is of part four. Pink. OK, pink. And season to see the flower. What season that we're going to see the flowers? It is... Spring, okay, spring season. And the month to put plants outside, what month that you were going to put it outside? It is September. And what's the final size of the plant? Oh, how many centimeter? That's 40. Very good. And price of the plant today, as of now, what's the price of the plant? The plant is has already... Eight, okay, it eight pounds. Okay, very good, me. Okay, great job. Okay, so we have here, me, one more activity. You will hear some information about the day trip. You listen and complete the questions. Look at them. It seems they're ready for a trip. This is the day trip, trip to the lake. North Lake. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a day trip. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. 
you will hear the information twice. Good morning, students. I hope you're enjoying your stay here in the mountains. Now, I've got some information about tomorrow's day trip to North Lake. The bus is always very busy at this time of year, so we'll take the train. You'll see some beautiful countryside on the journey. To join the trip, please be here at 1.15. You can have lunch in the cafe here at 12.30 before we go. When we're there, you can choose to go walking with me or fishing with Mr Thomas. But no swimming. The water's too cold at this time of year. Your ticket will cost £8 and you'll want some money to spend at the shop. So bring £12, please. Now, this is important. We'll meet to return to the station at the end of the day outside the Astor Hotel next to the lake. That's A-S-T-E-R. So, who would like to come? Now listen again. Good morning, students. I hope you're enjoying your stay here in the mountains. Now... I've got some information about tomorrow's day trip to North Lake. The bus is always very busy at this time of year, so we'll take the train. You'll see some beautiful countryside on the journey. To join the trip, please be here at 1.15. You can have lunch in the cafe here at 12.30 before we go. When we're there, you can choose to go walking with me or fishing with Mr Thomas. But no swimming. The water's too cold at this time of year. Your ticket will cost £8 and you'll want some money to spend at the shop. So bring £12, please. Now, this is important. We'll meet to return to the station at the end of the day outside the Astor Hotel next to the lake. That's A S. T E R. So, who would like to come? That is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Okay. That is the end of the test. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a day trip. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Good morning, students. I hope you're enjoying your stay here in the mountains. Now, I've got some information about tomorrow's day trip to North Lake. The bus is always very busy at this time of year, so we'll take the train. You'll see some beautiful countryside on the journey. To join the trip, please be here at 1.15. You can have lunch in the cafe here at 12.30 before we go. When we're there, you can choose to go walking with me or fishing with Mr Thomas. But no swimming. The water's too cold at this time of year. Your ticket will cost £8 and you'll want some money to spend at the shop. So bring £12, please. Now, this is important. We'll meet to return to the station at the end of the day outside the Astor Hotel next to the lake. That's A-S-T-E-R. So, who would like to come? Now listen again. Good morning, students. I hope you're enjoying your stay here in the mountains. Now, I've got some information about tomorrow's day trip to North Lake. 
The bus is always very busy at this time of year, so we'll take the train. You'll see some beautiful countryside on the journey. To join the trip, please be here at 1.15. You can have lunch in the cafe here at 12.30 before we go. When we're there, you can choose to go walking with me or fishing with Mr Thomas. But no swimming. The water's too cold at this time of year. Your ticket will cost £8 and you'll want some money to spend at the shop. So bring £12, please. Now, this is important. We'll meet to return to the station at the end of the day outside the Astor Hotel next to the lake. That's A-S-T-E-R. So, who would like to come? That is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. That is the end of the test. OK. So let us have the answer. Okay, first you have here, oh, sorry. Okay, one more. Okay, Ni, we don't have enough time. It's 10.45 already. Okay. So here the name of the lake, Ni. It's North Lake. It is... Travel there by how will we gonna travel it? We're gonna travel it by train and time to meet there at 1 15 p.m. That's afternoon. And the activities that we have to do is walking and fishing. And how much to take? It will take 12 pounds. Meet at the end of the day at what hotel? It's Aster Hotel. Okay. So, me teacher has another class to do. Thank you so much for today. Thank you, Nee, for coming. And teacher Anne is so happy to be with you here. Oh, I am so happy, actually. Teacher Anne is so happy because you came here. Okay, thank you. And I will see you next week. Okay, bye, Nee, and enjoy your weekend and summer. Bye-bye. Bye, Nee.